Hello, my name is Iskandar Kalbaev and we're talking about politics in Kazakhstan. It has been a 30 days, one month since President Tokayev has actually become a full-fledged president of Kazakhstan. The moment he gained uh, the power and uh, appointed as a head of the Security Council of Kazakhstan, a constitutional body that governs and supervises military, uh, security, security agencies, etc. So in this respect, President Tokayev is a leading authority in Kazakhstan and it means that President Nazarbayev era of reign has ended. Uh, uh, during that period of time. So in this respect, uh, the government now is trying to rebuild the Kazakhstan by building a new narrative, specifically so-called New Kazakhstan has to address the demands and expectations of a society. So basically to rebuild a social contract between government and society by instilling new elements of trust and instill new elements of uh, uh, governing mechanisms between inside Kazakhstan. So I think it's very important time for a new uh, generation of public leaders, opinion leaders to step up and voice their vision how to uh, lead Kazakhstan uh, to the future direction. So in this respect we see uh, a number of uh, opinion leaders, uh, new political uh, leaders who are emerging on the, on the stage. Uh, specifically we see the, the emergence of new political parties uh, who are trying to kind of engage in the, the political competition to uh, play a major role in the parliament. And at the same time, we see a new independent platforms, which, is compri which are comprised of prominent op opinion leaders, political scientists, scholars, business people. And this is a very interesting point because uh, now political uh, activity of the society inside Kazakhstan is on the rise. And in this respect, I think it's very important for uh, Kazakhstan to get to grasp this opportunity to uh, engage uh, and build a new tradition in Kazakhstan's political life where people from different sectors of society, from NGOs, uh, public, uh, public unions, trade unions, business sector to step up and say, hey, we are trying to rebuild a new Kazakhstan uh, where multiple voices are being heard rather than muted. So in this respect, it's, uh, it's not only about the government, it's not about the uh, Tokayev's administration, it's about people who would like to voice up and uh, put their agenda on the table. Uh, so in this respect, we, we might have a much better uh, solutions to the ongoing, still ongoing problems in economy, in political life, in social economic life. So this called uh, New Kazakhstan certainly is a, a government agenda, but we need to take this opportunity as a society to really use this platform for constructive dialogue, debates, but out of these debates as a result we might see a new kind of forms of uh, government, we might see new amendments in the constitution, we might see uh, early elections in the parliament of this year and we might see a new parties, uh, independent parties who uh, will represent the voices of people and in this respect we will not face this kind of tragic events in, uh, on the streets which happened in Almaty because uh, people will have their representatives in their parliament and uh, they don't will not have a uh, kind of reason to go on the streets and do a violent type of protest. So in this respect, I think it's uh, up to the people of Kazakhstan, uh, leading authorities, uh, opinion leaders to build up a new uh, social contract with the society to really listen to what's happening uh, on the streets, in the villages, on the in the rural uh, and urban areas, uh, to listen to the youth, uh, young generation, uh, and deliver their demands to the government. So in this respect, I, th I think that the new Kazakhstan as an idea uh, has a very great potential, but certainly it's up to uh, the multiple stakeholders, as I mentioned, NGOs, civil society and the government bodies to really uh, focus on implementations of these changes. And uh, if uh, the implementation process is going to be uh, an inclusive one rather than exclusively uh, government oriented uh, decision making, we are going to see a really new Kazakhstan that will uh, really appeal to the demands and the expectations of the people and certainly will increase the quality of life of ordinary citizens in Kazakhstan. So in this respect, I think building a new Kazakhstan will require a great political will from the government, a great political will and uh, interest from the civil society. That is why how we can build a, a new Kazakhstan with a shared responsibility for the better future of Kazakhstan and its people. Thank you.